All right, welcome guys. Today's video, we're gonna go over and we're gonna check out Cocret. Now, I came over here a couple weeks ago and I did a, a video from this new pier that they built. And so it made me want to uh, come over here and check out Cocret because it's been like, I don't know, seven months or so since I went to Cocret and it was really closed up whenever I was there due to uh, COVID. So anyway, we're gonna go check it out. I really wanna see how the, uh, like how the business is for them, see what all is open, see if there's anything new. And I really wanna look at the food because Cocret's a great place to come and see some of the local snacks and everything. So we're gonna take the ferry from here. We're gonna take it across to the island and uh, we're gonna enjoy it. It's also where they make pottery and all of that. So uh, let, me, uh, let me show you around. So here's the ferry. See if I can get on it before he takes off. All right, so on the ferry, the ferry is just a couple baht to go from uh, the pier. And you're right over by the uh, Rama 4 bridge, I believe. And uh, it just takes a couple minutes to get over to the island. So uh, we'll go over there and we'll uh, do some shopping and see what we can. So it's a full boat. And you can see that's the island right over there. And there's another ferry that will uh, bring us across. And then you can see some of the river traffic on the Chow Praia. Looks like we got a tour boat going. Now this part right here used to actually be land and they dug a trench across here to uh, shorten the route from Ayutthaya. So they uh, just made it into an island. And it saves quite a bit of time, otherwise the boats have to loop around the island to go north to the former capital. And over that way, that's the Rama 4 bridge. And this is all the new pier that they built. So it takes about maybe three minutes or so to get over here. And this is what awaits you. The total ferry is three baht, which isn't even, uh, isn't even really any money. And that's with the uh, increase in uh, fuel, I believe. Okay, so when you first come off, it kind of goes to a Y. If you go to the left, that goes down over towards like the artist village. They have restaurants on the river, stuff like that. Uh, right here in the middle, they have a bicycle rental. So you can rent them for 40, 50, or 60 baht for all day. And they even have like uh, electronic scooters, it looks like. And then if you go to the right, this will take you to uh, most of the temples and uh, the, over towards the food and stuff like that. Okay, so the way it comes, you come right here off the uh, ferry. And if you go to the left, this brings you down here to where the restaurants and stuff are. And there's a, like a little temple over here. Nothing really special, but it is something to see. And then if you keep on going around, that goes to like the village and stuff over here where they make the, the crafts. I've actually never been over to this part, so I can't tell you if that temple's any good or not. Uh, but they do the pottery and stuff down there. And then uh, past the, the leaning chetty that's right here, and then this will be like the little narrow road, and it goes to another temple, uh, stuff like that over here. And I've never been much into this little town. There's a little town and stuff over there. But it looks like there's actually ferries that go all around the island. So you got the monks over here giving them some blessings. Now the ferry here, the temple right there by it, actually has kind of a nice, uh, nice little Buddha and stuff in it if you want to see that. I did it in another uh, Cocret video. I'm not going to uh, do that. I just wanted to come over here today to see uh, how it looks on the weekend to see if there's any more uh, tourists and stuff. Actually, we're right here. Let's take a look really quick at this uh, this temple. So we'll take a look at the Buddha that's right here. And it's a nice little hall. It has some uh, murals and all of that around. And you can see they've done a nice job with uh, all the artwork and stuff and the molding. And then they have a picture of like the head monk and then some of the murals. Yeah, this is a, it's a nice, nice hall. The temple. And then we're gonna get into some of the food now we're gonna go through here in a minute. I wanna go over and look at that leaning chetty. So here is the museum. Last time I came, they were remodeling outside. Maybe I'll stop and uh, look in there really quick after we look at the, uh, the little leaning chetty that's over here. Here's the chetty. 
yeah, it's pretty cool looking. It's not very big, but it's just interesting because it's kind of leaning over to the side. So you can see there, there's one of the ferries coming over and that's the ferry going there. And that's uh, the temple where you leave from and that's looking right up the Chow Praia River. So that's the Rama 4 Bridge. So all of this was dug to extend, uh, or to make the river in a straight line, basically. And I was seeing, a, I saw a map a while back that they showed uh, that there were four major reroutings of the Chow Praia that saved uh, 41 kilometers from Ayutthaya to here, which when you drive by a car to Ayutthaya, it's like 100 kilometers. So that's a huge, huge savings for us. So here's the entrance into the museum. So it's open from one till four, and then it's open on the weekends from nine until five. Now they, uh, it's a little free museum, and they're doing it for uh, like the pottery and stuff like that. So you can look around and see the earthenware. And I don't know how much of it is made on the island, but that's what Kokret is famous for, is their, uh, their pottery. I mean, you can see some of this stuff is, uh, is really, really intricate. So they have a few little data plates, but it's all in Thai. But if you look at this pottery, holy cow, that's like some really, really fine work that they've done on it. And I've seen before how they're making these. So they, uh, they use the little tools and they, uh, make the patterns in it and then they fire it right here on the island. So that's really, really nice. And you can see this is how the, the displays they have. But it's free, so if you're here, just uh, pop in really quick and take a look. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the food they have. So they're gonna have all the snacks that you normally see. So they make these like, uh, like little pancakes and then they put like the the cream inside of it and the foie tong. And then here she's uh, grilling up the pancakes. So they put the cream in it, then they'll uh, put the foie tong on it or the coconut, whatever. And then they'll uh, make them into the little, uh, like the C shape. And they have the sesame seeds with the sugar. And then here she's making the, uh, the little pancakes. So she'll cook them in right there. She's got the batter. This is what I really like about the, uh, the island over here, Kokret. This little tiny narrow walking street that'll have the shops set up on each side. And you just kind of go through here. So they'll have uh, clothes, toys for the kids, and mostly snacks. So let's see. And you get to see a bunch of different stuff here that you normally don't get to see. So here they have the little egg desserts. These were brought into uh, Thailand by the Portuguese. And she's uh, decorated these up. They're quite nice looking. So it looks like she's selling them for uh, 15 baht. So like 50 cents for each one. And then one of my favorite things, the little coconut pancake. So it looks like you get these for uh, one little box here for 40 baht. So little canvas bags. Handmade. Get the young girls that are selling them. The lady here with the little cart. She's selling the vegetables and stuff. So she'll push it along. And the locals, they uh, they come here also. They have the whole little village that's down to the south. So here they have the pigtail and the chicken feet. So you can get those for um, 25 baht for the chicken feet. And there's the little pigtail. And then they have the fresh coconuts for 25 or 35 baht. I stay away from the pigtail and the chicken feet. But to each their own if they want to eat it. Okay. So the lady here just told me she has the, uh, this, this is the lotus. So they have uh, the little lotus flower and the bloom. And so you eat that and you dip it in that sauce right there. So it's like $4 for that. So uh, here's the sauces and stuff that you dip it in. So uh, yeah, 120 baht. And they have a little walking street with uh, some clothing and a couple little coffee shops and stuff. Yeah, this is kind of a cool little walking street. Yeah, last time I came, it was just barely open and there was only like, I think two places that were even open at the time. 
It was just after, last time I came was just after they'd opened the island after being closed due to uh, closing down the, all of uh, this area. So we have some homemade pizza. So like uh, almost $6 for a little, a little pizza. Looks like they put it in the microwave to cook it. And then some more, more little restaurants and stuff. One of the fun things to do here is to come and uh, eat on the river so you don't have the view of the river here. Looks like it has some curry, some Japanese stuff. Yeah, there's a few people out. It's still not like super, super busy, but it's nice to see that there's most of the uh, shops are open. Over here have uh, that's a pretty nice coffee shop. So like a dollar, like a dollar thirty to a dollar seventy-five for a cup of coffee. And then you have these little soys that go down like this. So there's a restaurant over there. Here's selling the wood and some of the pottery. Spatulas has the sleepy cat up there. <laughs> the cat's the assistant. And then here we have uh, little brownies, almond cookies for 25 baht. So just about like a dollar each for those. The mini brownies are 10 baht each. Has a little almond or the cashew. Same thing here. Oh, and they got some little knickknack souvenirs. And you can get the shaved ice. Looks like he's, uh, he's making some up right there. Some of the uh, little brownie stuff. So she's selling some of the little coconut jelly desserts. Yeah, these are nice. The lady says they're delicious. Okay, so these guys right here, they're making these by hand. You can see he's, uh, he has the dough right there and he rolls them into the little shape. And he uh, cooks them right there. And then he puts the coconut on the outside. So you can get these little canomes for uh, like one little plastic container for 30 baht, which is like $1. So he's making them in the shape. And then he puts them in there to cook up. Okay, so she's making a similar thing here to a, those guys that were making the coconut snacks. And then uh, they have a whole bunch of different ones. So you can get like three of these little plastic things for a uh, hundred baht. And then she's got some desserts down there. The Thais have such a sweet tooth, so so they have those that have like the little foy tong. So the desserts are always a big hit in Thailand. Yeah, they've added quite a bit of new stuff since I was over here last. Like all of this is all new and it leads right down to the river. So they're uh, doing the cook to order food. And you can order it and you can sit right here at one of these tables. And then right over here is the river. They have a little coffee art gallery right here by the river. So you can order your coffee up and sit right here. Let's check out the view right quick. And some people over here, they're eating up. All right, so here is the Chow Praia. And it's a pretty cool view. You got that huge gold temple, or gold Buddha at that temple over there. I believe that's what, uh, Bang, Bang Rak or something like that. All right, so let's go back in and see some more of this uh, market. Yeah, this little market is really great today. I really enjoy coming over to Koh Kred. I don't get over here very often. When I do, I always come over here to get the snacks, just because you get stuff that's quite a bit different than what you normally see at the, like the night markets and on the street food. They do a nice job with uh, the presentation and everything. And they have a few little like souvenirs, like shirts and stuff like that, but I don't ever buy that. But you know, if you're in the market for it or you want a souvenir from Thailand, then this is definitely a, a good place to come. I'd rather come over here than go to Jatchajak Market. You know, Jatchajak Market is quite a bit bigger and uh, there's more to see over there. But uh, this is just kind of, it's got more of like a quaint feel to me. So uh, this is definitely one of, uh, one of my favorite places to go on the weekends. And usually people come here on Saturday and Sunday. If you come here midweek, it's gonna be really, really quiet. And you can see how busy it is right now. This lady's trying to get her cart around. And while we're looking, let's look. He has some of the Chinese desserts here. 
So if you like that red bean and kind of like the flowery dessert, these are, uh, are quite nice. And then he has the little peanut cakes that they deep fry. And here they have the fish soup. So you can buy the whole fish and he puts that little soup in it and then he sticks it in a plastic bag so you can get that. So this is what's pretty cool about this place. So you see right here they have a little restaurant. They're selling these little uh, deep fried fish and then they have the, the soup, the curry soup. But it's just right here in the little alley. So they got the whole family over here and that's their restaurant. So they probably live back there in one of the houses. Very cool. But in Thailand, space is such a premium that uh, they use everything. So here this lady, she has her little snacks. So you see that's the inside of this. And then she puts this uh, little sweet stuff on the outside and she makes them look like flowers. Quite nice. And you can get these for like 40 baht. 40 baht for the small one and 60 baht for the big one. So like $2. Today isn't uh, too hot. So it's actually a really great day to come and walk. When it gets, uh, you know, around 38 degrees, then it gets really, really hot. And it's, uh, this is open air, but they put this awning over it. So it keeps the rain out. Because it does rain every once in a while in Thailand. I got ran over by uh, this guy on the scooter. And then more knickknacks and stuff. Okay, so these ladies here, see she's grilling up. These are like the little fish balls. And this is the sugar king. So you can get one of these here for like 20 baht, which is a little bit less than a dollar. And then they uh, make these little, like little pancakes, like these little wafer pancakes. And usually you can get these for like three for a hundred baht or so, and they're quite delicious. You can get them with like the coconut or the sesame seeds, and she cooks them right here. So, and then right here next to uh, one of the temples, they have this kind of a fresh market. So the ladies are out preparing the vegetables and, uh, you know, like the housewives and everybody will come over, they'll buy the vegetables to take them home to do some cooking. And then they have the snacks also and the drinks. And they sh we'll have some stuff here for the temple because the temple's right over behind here. So she's about out of her stuff. So you had the little snacks with the coconuts. And you can buy some of these little pots here. So some of these here with a little candle right here. So this is like 285 baht. So it's like 850 or so. And then the small ones here, like these are like $4. Pretty nice. And they make them here on the islands. So, monks over here selling the bread. So, the Thais will buy the bread, the fish food, and they'll go feed the fish. All right, and then the, right here, there's a pier behind me, and then uh, we have this little temple. So let's look right here at this one main building. See, they've put the gold leaf on this statue, just absolutely covered. And then here is the the main hall. The lights around the Buddha. And it has the mural behind. And then they've done little shelves all around with just tons and tons of these little tiny Buddha. It sounds like they have the little sticks to rattle. So they can rattle those sticks and get their lucky number. All right, so just right behind the, uh, that little temple, they have this pier. And so this guy has his long tail boat out here. He stuck the potted plant on the uh, front of the boat. Looks like it's needing some repair, but it still still works. And then right over there, you can take like a boat over there to that temple. Actually, I need to go over to that one day, one of these days. Maybe I'll do that pretty soon. Go over there and see that Bangjak temple. Just looks really cool. So over here, we got some of the kids feeding the fish. And then you can see down along the way, they have little restaurants and stuff. Just tons and tons of these fish. So hungry guys, just a little bit more of the fresh market here by the uh, temple and the pier. So she's making some of the desserts. Seen these before. So she uh, steams them right there. Sometimes they'll dip them in like a like a little crunchy topping. And then you can get the coffee in these little ceramic mugs, and then meat on a stick. Most of the normal stuff that you see. And then just to the south of here is where like the, uh, the local village starts. Oh, I haven't seen these in a while. So these are the lotus blooms. And you can actually, uh, you buy them 
and then you dig the seed pod out of it and you eat it like a like a pea but you just bite it in half and you uh, eat the seed out of that little the little tiny part so right here this is what you eat right here so uh, you just peel that out of there like you're eating like a pomegranate and then you bite that in half and you suck the little uh, like the little basically like a green like a like a pea out of there and then you just eat it okay so if you go inland from uh, that narrow little road you start running into the Thai houses like this and this is where they live and you can uh, see they got all this stuff down below their house and then uh, they have a sign up here that's saying like arts and crafts so let's see if there's anybody over here actually uh, making some pottery or if they're just selling it got a lady over there on the mic looks like they, uh, they have a pit over there Okay, so this is what I was wanting to see. They actually do have some of the spinning wheels. So he's teaching her how to make the pottery. So right here is the uh, clay that they actually dig. Quite a bit of stuff here. Yeah, this uh, wasn't here last time I came down, so they've opened this part up. So right here is their kiln. So they fire it right here on site. And you can see the pots that they've already fired. Let's see if we can see inside of it. Yeah, here we go. So they have them all stacked up. And back into the walkway, she has the little snacks that look like the uh, cherries and watermelon and peppers and everything. Oh, and then she has the uh, kebabs there for 50 baht. Some more of the little Buddhas. Quite a bit, bit of the little knickknacks. So this lady right here, she's peeling the garlic. So she's sitting right here, she just peels it. And then you can buy it for like 70 baht. And she puts it in there. I'm not sure what uh, what they do with it, but that's 100 baht. So maybe it's just like the garlic fermenting in that sauce or whatever. But she's sitting here just peeling them like crazy. So this lady right here, how cool is this? So she takes these old Levi's and she sits here and she hand paints all of the designs onto all of these clothes and the handbags. Wow, very neat. Uh huh. You have amazing talent. You very good. Uh huh. So for these jeans right here that you see, so she painted on these and it's 350 baht. So like $7.50. And for like these little bib overalls is just a little bit less, it's like $11 for these. So definitely something that would be unique. And like the jeans are like uh, 600 baht. So like $18 for the, for the jeans. But yeah, really, really nice. She's done, uh, like the dream catcher and then she has some for the kids yeah very nice got Woody from uh, Toy Story all right guys so that finishes up our little video here at uh, Cocret yeah this is a, a good time today I really like coming out here I would much rather come here than to go to uh, like the big malls and stuff like that because it's all these people that are out here, they live here on the island, you know, they have their little restaurants, you know, they make the food here by hand, and uh, the pottery, all of that stuff. Now, I only showed you a little bit, there is quite a bit more here to do. If you want to check out uh, my Kokret video part two, I'll put that in the comments, and that will show you the other half of the island, and uh, that way you can see like some of the, uh, like the coffee shops and restaurants and stuff like that that's down there. And if you want to look back through my playlist, Kokret part one, I show you a lot more of the temples and stuff like that in that video. Today I wanted to come over here and see how busy it is and uh, see some of the food and the snacks and all that because it's always a good time. So uh, anyway guys, if you, uh, if you like the video, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I do videos like this where I show you parts of uh, Thailand, what you see here. And uh, leave me a comment if you've been here before or if you want to come. You know, tell me that down in a comment. The comments and the likes and the subscriptions really help me. So if you want to support the channel, you can do that. So uh, 
anyway, uh, remember guys, uh, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.